Hi, it's Chris from Living the Inner Life, back once again. And instead of talking about now what do we do in this post-pandemic era, I guess we're still in the pandemic phase, but we're kind of in the post-lockdown transition. There's so many charged feelings and very pointed opinions about how we should and shouldn't do that. And that's not really what I want to talk about anymore. This is living the inner life, your inner life. And I want to really keep on going with that because that's really where it is. No matter what we do or where we go or what's happening in the world, always, always we go with our own inner lives into this world. Okay. So it's really important, I believe, because I've dedicated a lot of study to this, to focus on the inner life. And one of the great branches of study is philosophy, a way of understanding who we are and what we are and how we get along with the world around us. Now, the late great Manley Hall defined philosophy as the science of estimating value. Hmm. In other words, he's saying that if you have religion here and science here, sometimes they don't agree, but philosophy is this triangulation that kind of brings them all together because it is a science, but it deals with metaphysics and other things you can't explain. In fact, philosophy is often thought of as being a bunch of people arguing about things they can't prove. All right, well, life is like this. No, life is like that. Well, water is the source of all things. No, air is the ground of all being, or consciousness is what it's all about. No, the brain produces, and on and on and on. There's a lot of arguments. A lot of areas of interest that will probably never be solved, no matter how much we talk about it. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about real philosophy, a living philosophy, a philosophy of life. Because what philosophy really means is Philo, or love, and Sophia, the goddess of wisdom. So it's a love of wisdom. Okay, And that's very different than knowledge of wisdom. Okay? or uh, being educated in wisdom, or arguing <laughs> about wisdom, or an opinion about wisdom. No, it's a love of wisdom. And if you and I are philosophers, then we are also lovers, okay? Lovers of wisdom. And what is this wisdom? It's truth. It's beauty. It's life with a capital L. So it's a way of approaching this inner life with a loving heart, with a loving attitude, something that you want to have as almost like a lover or beloved, okay? This real relationship. And it is a loving thing because it is life. It's your life. So as lovers of life with a living philosophy, it really doesn't work if it's all about an opinion or trying to argue a point. Philosophy only really works when you're doing it, right? So I could describe what chocolate ice cream is like. Pretend you've never had it before. I could go into the chemistry involved. I could go into the process on how you make ice cream and the freezing point of ice if you add salt, um, cream, no cream. There's a lot involved with that, where chocolate comes from, its origin, how it's used in medicine and other things, and how you can best eat ice cream, whether with a spoon or on a cone, and on and on and on, okay? There's a lot you can know about chocolate ice cream. There's a lot you can talk about it, too. A philosopher eats the ice cream, and then you can talk about that, okay? You can share your experience with that. You don't really know something. You don't really know about something until you've actually done it. You don't go to a restaurant and look at the menu and you see a nice picture of your vegetable soup and go to the way, look, I, I, I would like this. Yeah, I want, I want this you know, number five here. And it's like, okay, you're not gonna eat the paper. You're not gonna eat the picture. That's not what you're ordering, okay? You're ordering the soup and then you're gonna get it. Mm, and you're going to eat it, and then you have an experience, okay, of this vegetable soup or chocolate ice cream, or I guess I'm stuck on food today. Uh, but that is one way in which you can really only know something 
is by experiencing it, by taking it in to your being, okay? And this is true of not only food, but any kind of living experience, like playing a sport or running or going swimming or anything like that, or being in a relationship, raising a child. You know, there's a lot to be said about all those things. And you can talk about them. But when you actually get to try them, you actually get to do them, that's a whole nother way of living. That's a whole nother way of experiencing something. And then you have a different kind of knowledge, all right? This wisdom, this ensouled, just like you can embody something, you ensoul something. You take something into your inner being and you have an experience with that. Now, we've all had experience with life, <laughs> okay? We are all living, breathing creatures, and we all have, no matter how old we are, or how much we've seen or experienced, or whatever we've done or not done, we all have some experience of life. And that's what philosophy really is. It's taking our experience with life, and what we've brought in to our experience, and also what we've, through our experience, been able to put out and share with others. And having a strong philosophy of life will really guide you through your life, okay? It's something that has to be developed, something that has to be cultivated because it is a relationship, because you are a lover, and Sophia is your beloved, okay? So love her, all right? Invite her in, treat her nicely. She's very wise, very powerful, and she can help you throughout all your days, especially these uncertain times, of which there will always be uncertain times. As a matter of fact, pretty much every day is uncertain. All right, we can get stuck in routines and habits and think that, oh, it's just another day, same day, different stuff, another day, another dollar. And that appears to be true, but that's not really true because every day is a day for something new, a new experience, a new way of understanding a new way of loving this life we live, okay? So think about that. Think of yourself as a lover of wisdom. Be that lover, bring her in. This Sophia, this all-wise, all-knowing, all-caring, because if it is a loving relationship, it's not just hard scientific fact, and it's not just metaphysical speculation that can't be proven. It gets proven in the laboratory of your own experience, in your own life, your own inner life. You probably saw that coming, right? All right, so lover of wisdom, you, philosopher, develop your living philosophy of life, and that will help you through your outer life and your inner life as you go throughout your life. So I'd like to hear from you how you are a philosopher, and what you have found out and what you can share with me and everyone else about your inner wisdom. All right. So with that, we'll see you tomorrow.